What's up? I know it's been a while since you've heard from me, but I've been busy with huge engineering projects and stressful begin end of semester stuff. Um, but today I want to talk about America, because I have been completely consumed by the election cycle there in the past couple of weeks and during election week now. As of filming this video, I don't know who's won yet. Um, if they've won by the time I post this video, I'll insert a little clip here. Dad, they still haven't announced who's well, won the US election. I thought I'd come home to a result. I know, right? I'm busy filming and telling the people how we've been waiting for days to find out if these guys have decided yet, but it's still 264 to 14. Oh, no. Just announced oh, that Biden's no, won already. No clarity yet. <sighs> I mean, it's a very ethical process of counting all the mail in ballots, but guys, <sighs> done a bad job of timing this. <laughs> Don't know right now who's won the election, but it doesn't really matter because I want to talk about how my American dream is well and truly dead. So I am not naive enough to think that America is the only place with problems right now. Please, I live in South Africa with all the corruption and poverty and all the other bad things that happen here. You know, I'm not naive enough to think that America is the worst place in the world. But in particular, so many first world nations seem to handle things differently to America. They seem to handle things with a much more scientific, more nuanced, kind kind of approach to governing. Um, and in particular, you know, I'm not a big fan of Trump and his policies just because he's not scientific and because he lies and because, he, you know, he's not, not the kind of person I would have around for dinner. It's just been interesting recently learning actually what I value more in government, in politics and in a country. Because as a young person in South Africa, like every young person in South Africa, I'm considering, str very, cons very strongly considering immigrating one day soon once I've got my degree. Um, and I used to want to go to America. I had that American dream of going and working for Fang, you know, going and working in a big tech company, going to the big city in America, going and exploring the world from America's vantage point of power and technology. But that dream has kind of faded away now, considering the, um, what's been happening in America this year with you know, Black Lives Matter and the coronavirus response. And to be sure, there are parts of America that are very well educated and very high tech, but there's such a large swath, especially in the central interior, that seems to be really focused on American values and American ideals, and doesn't seem to care much about the world around them. And to be honest, now that I've learned a bit more about myself this year, that's not actually what I value. I really, really value a global approach to politics and a global approach to power and technology in the world. And a lot of the Trump ideals, and so as a result, American ideals recently, haven't been that global mindset. And you know, by the time you're watching this, the election is probably over and someone's probably been crowned president. Um, I don't think you crown a president, but anyway. But all of the chaos and the violence and that that has come with the election isn't going to disappear anytime soon. I found myself doom scrolling on Twitter the past couple of days and just scrolling through the divisive, angry, violent um, tweets from members of the left and right. That's not the kind of place I want to live in. I don't know. First world nations where there's a lot more nuance and kindness and just, I don't know, more of a, a problem-solving approach to politics and governance, that's kind of what I value. And I don't know why I'm even making this video, because this is not a political channel, but I've just found myself recently thinking about it more and more and discussing it with my dad, why America is so divisive and why they've had such a violent campaign trail and why so much just seems to be going wrong there in the country. And yeah, it's a lot of historical things as well with the South and the North and the, the history that they have there. They probably should have been split into separate countries a long time ago just because of the um, different ideals between the coasts and the central interior. But I don't know. It's such a big country and I think naturally big in physics, big things want to collapse due to entropy. And such a big country like America would probably do a lot better if it wasn't centrally governed, you know. And that's, I guess, what the, the states, that the approach of the states is to do, is to not have central governance. But trying to unite everyone in a country as big and as diverse as America under one banner of either Democrat or Republican is never going to really work because there's just so many people with so many different ideals. It's always going to be a struggle to get them to come together under one thing. And as I'm mentioning the left and the right, as I, I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump, but equally so, the dehumanization from the left and the right uh, in America has been particularly unpleasant to witness as an outside observer of this election cycle. No one should be calling uh, the other side names or dehumanizing their humanity or calling them stupid or calling them worthless like the left and the right have been doing to each other the past couple of months. And I don't know, I'm just really not a big fan of that. And if you're watching this and you're in America, do you really want to be a part of that or do you rather be part of a country or a place or a group of people that treats other people equally and with respect, even if people do make stupid decisions that you don't like. I mean, it's part of being an adult to see that people, other people have different opinions to you and to not 
be prejudiced towards them because of that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a naive teenager today, but it's what I've been thinking about. So yeah, I know this video has been a bit all over, over the place and I, this is why this is not a political channel and I'm not a political pundit because synthesizing my ideas into a, a tight, uh, conclusive argument is not my strongest point, but I just wanted to put it out there because I've been thinking about it a lot. I've been completely ensnared by the election cycle this week, watching the states, learning about the convoluted system of voting uh, in people with the Electoral College, and just learning from America, and doing some self-introspection uh, myself at the end of a long year and a long semester about what I value. Um, I used to want to go to America to go live there, to be a part of that technology, um, and not so much anymore. My American dream is kind of dead. So it's time to find a new one, I guess. But thanks for watching. We will resume back to our normal programming of me studying university stuff next week. Um, thanks for watching. And I hope you haven't been as caught up in the election as me. Have a good day.